Drivers slamming into diners outside a Miami Beach restaurant, leaving one person dead and several others injured, including a child. The chaotic crash happening in one of the most popular tourist spots on South Beach. And in the middle of a very busy weekend, let's get right to Local 10's Christian Delarosa live at the scene for us with what led up to it all. Christian. Go ahead and take a look at where the vehicle came to a deadly stop. People who were just feet away from this disaster are sharing the horror and the heroism they witnessed. Cell phone videos showing people running for their lives as it happens. Police say an elderly woman behind the wheel of this older model Bentley was trying to parallel park. Heard the screeching and crashing, screaming. Witnesses say the woman jumped the curb and kept going, running over several outdoor dining tables at Call Me Gabby restaurant on Washington Avenue. And there were multiple like bangs that the car hit. It didn't stop. It kept going. Look around. There's black smoke everywhere. People jumped up. There was people running out, and a whole bunch of people ran to the smoke. There was a guy stuck under the car, so. We all ran, tried to pick up the car, trying to help the guy out. It was crazy. And there was a small boy and few people trapped under the vehicle. We grabbed the vehicle, a bunch of people grabbed the vehicle and counted one, two, three and lifted the vehicle up and a waiter in there pulled a young boy out and within minutes, seconds really, the police were here and ambulances are here. It was the most amazing response from the city of Miami Beach that I've ever seen in my life. A spokesperson for Miami Beach confirms six people were transported to the hospital. One person died. It was pretty scary because we didn't know what was going on. And then we were kind of relieved that it wasn't like a terror event or something like that. Calvin Nicole, it was six o'clock in the evening when this happened. You can imagine just how packed this block was with diners. I can also tell you a spokesperson from Miami Beach Police tells me at this point it does not appear that the driver was under the influence. The person who was killed has not been identified. We're live in Miami Beach. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News. Just such an awful story. Thank you, Christian.